I think we need to understand what marriage does, right? Marriage doesn't make you happy. Marriage makes you holy. Okay, let me say that one more time. And when I say holy, I, I'm talking about in terms of righteousness, but I'm also talking about in terms of being set apart. You have entered into an institution that God created that he holds with high esteem, right? Yeah. And so you have to be careful how you operate in that thing because the whole purpose of the institution of marriage is to shape, mold, cut, bend, wipe, shine, whatever God break. uses the ints break, <laughs> like for real. And it causes us to be broken in ways that we don't want to be broke. People hear me say when we do the, the, the conferences and stuff that marriage challenges your growth in ways that no other relationship will challenge you mm -hmm. right? outside of your relationship with God. Right. I mean, like for real, Kayla, Jorge, we could sit here and talk about the many instances that, you know, what I'm saying, because we hold each other accountable, the many instances that we've come across situations. And like, for real, you, 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 you got your behind handed to you. Why? Yeah. Because what you're doing is not consistent and it is not conducive to what you want in terms of an end goal as far as marriage is concerned. Right. Yes, so that's first and foremost. Marriage don't make you happy. Marriage makes you holy, set apart. And once you start operating in marriage the way that you're supposed to, the byproduct of that is happiness. Yeah. But the happiness don't come off the rip. It's not, you, you understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm not saying that you can't experience happiness, but there will be times where you will be, once again, cut, shaped, broken, you know, all for the purposes because what God is trying to do with this thing called marriage is that he's supposed he's trying to use it such that he will do with us what he needs to do with us until we completely and totally reflect his character. Absolutely. You feel me? So to, to the point, like, I, I don't want people to think that we're having our discussions based on, you know, what I'm saying what they did or didn't do and we judging them. No, we're not. We're looking no. at the situation no, no, no. in and of itself. And that's the same situation that happens Truth be told, in marriages that are in the church or considered to be spiritual, yeah. but they, 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 we experience those things because we're doing marriage the way we want to do marriage and not the way that it was designed. Oh, not the way that it was designed for us to operate in. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, so, That's so, so, so when the two of them said, okay, let's separate. Because, I mean, you can be a married couple and separate, yeah. right? For the purposes of taking a break or whatever the case may be. But it is not an open door for us to invite. No. Uh, it's not but, a hall pass. But I, I, I think, I think, but I think that's still, like, be honest with you, like, that's like opening the door to anything, right? Yeah. And a lot of people could say, well, don't, you know, you don't, don't be insecure. You got to find yourself. But I do believe that, you know, when, like, I don't know, unless it, the, the, the relationship is getting abusive mm -hmm. and, and it's getting to a point that it's now not healthy. Mm -hmm. I can understand that, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. But that's also, you know, it, it just opens doors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But let's I, not also I mean, let's not let's not forget also that sh that Jada is she was at the time when they took a break, she was still herself broken. Right. So she mm -hmm. was still dealing with a lot of issues that they talked about in one of their the the sessions Episode. red table yeah. um, where they they talked about how they went through their breakup and how they got back together and how mm -hmm. they were able to find their way back together. Now, at that time, when that aired, we never knew that this affair took place because yeah. they hadn't they weren't telling anyone about it. Mm -hmm. We just knew that they were going through a very tumultuous time that they needed to break up for that period. He he said it, you need to go find Babe, say what, separate, don't say break up. Oh uh, they took a break. <laughs> Breakups. Yeah. They took a break. No. Yeah. So I mean they separated and that's all we knew. We knew that they were both going through some issues. Even in in that episode, you you remember Willow um said, Oh, you know, oh daddy daddy, daddy thinks family. yeah, daddy thinks that we're the family, you know, that he envisions, blah, 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 like something to that effect, you know, because he was working and making movies and doing all this stuff and buying yeah. this glorious house and she didn't want any of that. 
and he thought he was doing it for the family and she was like no you're not you're doing that for you like i don't i never asked for any of this so you know they both had their issues mm. and the you know that was probably the main reason for them going you know separating at that time but she was also broken from a very long time ago she mm -hmm. states that she because of her addictions because of her parents addictions her mother's her father's i mean she has a slew of history when it comes to trying to fix broken people yeah and so she herself suffered from several addictions alcoholism she talks about all of this and so when she went off to i guess find her happiness or find what makes her happy mm -hmm. this entanglement occurred because they were already in the midst of helping august through his addictions mm -hmm. right so now here we have two people who have addictions and at the time her addiction was trying to save broken people because that's her history right and then he has the addictions of drugs and probably a slew of other issues that we don't know about but now you bring two broken people together they're both trying to find happiness and what makes sense in this crazy world and there you go, an entanglement happens as she wants to, you know, they both want to say, because mm -hmm. he agrees with the, the word entanglement, Compl complicated and compromising relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's what it was to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's textbook psychology, if you really, really look at it. Any psychologist, any psychiatrist will tell you that this is textbook stuff this they see this all the time people who have issues who have you know addictions who have all kinds of past traumas from their life they they are going to deal with some crap right they're going to have to go through some crap they're going to have to fight through it they're going to have to find themselves get help and i think this to her as she explained was she had to go through this process right she had to be broken in order to be fixed in order to come back to a place where she could truly find happiness within herself and not try to find it from other people right yeah. especially her husband because as mm -hmm. much as i love him i'm not depending on him for my happiness right i have to be happy within myself i have mm -hmm. to love mm -hmm. myself first and know that God loves me first before I can love him and before I can give him love and vice versa. I'm not looking, I'm not sitting around and saying, so what are you going to do today to make me happy? Like that just doesn't work. So yeah. uh, she had to go off on her own to really truly find herself and find out what really is it that makes her happy and how can she be happy within herself and not find it within anybody else. And I applaud her. I don't condone what she did. I don't. But see, that's the thing I think for me is that now I'm not mad at you going to find yourself or going to, because the yeah. word definitely speaks on being able to take a break. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If for, for, for a number of different reasons, you understand what I'm saying? But at one point, at some point after you've taken that break, you should come back together. And that break doesn't give us a green light to go and do X, Absolutely. Y, and Z. It's for the purposes of, of, like you said, if I have to find myself, if I need to get help, right. whatever that thing may be in order for me to be whole, yeah. right? So that we can join back together. If that's what the two of us agree on and to find it necessary. My thing was that like, if she needed to go and get that help, then she should have gotten that help. But my man was also sick. Yeah. Right. They were both. And, but, but that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes I, here's the funny thing. I think sometimes we say that we're sick, right? And we can blame it on the fact that we were sick and that somebody else was sick. But if I'm sick, what am I going to do? I'm going to go get medicine for the sickness that I have, right? Or I'm going to go get help for the sickness no, that I have. No, but you're thinking it from a logical standpoint. You, you don't, that's like an addict and you tell them, well, why don't you just stop? Well, no, why no, no, can't no. you just stop like, or go get help? And 
when you're an addict and you are you are addicted to something so babe, we, whatever we, it is on. whether it's addicted to sex hold whether on. it's addicted to drugs addicted to food you can be addicted to a number of things but when you are addicted i don't and i don't, you necess- don't see yourself outside of that addiction it is extremely hard for someone to say well why don't you just go get help mm-hmm. like that doesn't make sense to like, oh, thank you. Yeah, I should have thought about that yesterday before I stuck the needle in my arm. Okay, like, good. That just doesn't make sense for Okay, so, so let's, let's, let's define what addiction is first, right? Because this is, this is a, the, the, how many times has something like this happened w- with her? Do you guys know? Is, no. Was there another situation that this happened? No, I mean, it, 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 seems like, it, it seems like, like it, it, the way the conversation was going, when she, when when he said that I'm not happy with it, um, she did uh, kind of threw back at him uh, like because he said I'm gonna get you back, and he they did they, they go back and she, and she was like oh well you already got me back so who knows what that means right, right. that could be I, that could be that they have a habit of uh, separating and doing what what just happened they just happened this one went a, a lot more closer because it was related to the family like right. the right. family tried to help him while he was in the in the need and that's what I think hurt my man if anything. Right. Like he was a friend of the family. Right. 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 So that, and I think that's my thing. Like what was the situation where she was trying to help? You know what I'm saying? Because, okay, let's say she was addicted to saving people or helping people. Mm -hmm. At what point did it turn from saving or helping somebody to, uh, uh, to, to, to becoming a sexual relationship? Yeah, you, I mean, you understand what I'm saying? Like when you're when you're broken in that manner, and you, I mean, I think extramarital affairs happen all the time that way because of you are you are involved with that person to a certain degree, and it's you now take on their you you're so you're trying to be so empathetic and so trying to help them in such a manner that now you guys have crossed the lines you've okay i I don't think that she should have ever been in the position to try to help him in that manner by herself yes his issues were way bigger but 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 but, but that's my exact point right Right. regardless of what the addiction is it wasn't like she was addicted to drugs she was addicted to helping people okay fine if that's what we want to classify it as but if she has the the presence of mind to know at what point it's becoming a breach point now like, okay, we're getting a little bit too close. Like, what were the leading things? Was it a holding of the hand? Was it a kiss of the cheek? Was it in a, we inappropriate? Don't know we don't, things. but I know no. that I know that it didn't happen overnight. I know that them yeah. jumping in that bed didn't happen overnight. No, of course that not. much I know. So at what point is the cutoff point like to say, okay, good? And I think that's what happens in a lot of marriages. They dismiss the cutoff point and throw caution to the wind, and then boom, you wake up the next morning in a hotel room. How did you get here? You got here because you didn't close up the breach point.